Now I'm going to go back to Elements, and this time I'm going to show you another technique. This one is called Grids. I'll scroll down, and just past the Frames section, you'll see Grids right down here at the bottom. And if you click See All, it will bring up all the different grid arrangements that you have available to you. I'll choose this one right here, and I'll just click on it and drag it right into my canvas. And now you see that I have one large rectangle shape and two small squares. Now I need three images to place inside those placeholders. So I'm going to my uploads and I have these whale images. I'm going to click on that whale and now I'll just drag him right into that grid shape. Let go and there he is. Now, the next technique I'm going to show you is how to crop. When I click on that image, you see that not all of him fits inside that rectangular shape. So I'm going to click the Crop button, and now I can drag him down and let go, and then just click Done. And you see that he fits in a lot better now. If for any reason the grid is too large, now I'll grab this killer whale image, click on it, and maneuver it inside this rectangular box and then let go. You see that it sort of fits, but not completely. So I'm going to have to do some cropping. So I'll click on the image and that will bring up this editing toolbar up here at the top. You see that I can click adjust and that will allow me to adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, tint, blur, etc. But what I want is the crop tool. So I'll click Crop, and now I can click on that image and just drag it down, and then let go. I'll click Done, and it looks quite a bit better now. Another thing I can do is adjust the grid's shape or size. So if I dragged it a little bit this way, I could get that fin to fit a lot better inside that box. Now here's another whale. I'll click on this one. And I'll do the same thing for these square placeholders at the bottom. Click, hold, and drag, and then drop. This one as well. Click, hold, and drag, and drop. If I need to crop for any reason, I'll just click on the image, go up to the Crop tool, click on the button, and drag the image into place, and do the same thing over here. Click Crop, and drag the image into place. Now if I'm still not happy with the grid, I can click and change its size as well. Maybe I'd rather swap out one of these with a different image. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work, but you can see how cropping really helps and how a grid can help multiple images fit inside a particular layout. Here I have one larger image and two smaller images, and this layout will work quite nicely. All I have to do now is click the download button, and I can save this as a PNG image, which could be inserted into a future presentation. And that's an example of how a grid works in Canva. There are many other grids to choose from. Just go through and pick the one that fits your images and has the layout that you want. And that's how grids work in Canva.